Now, Africa, a continent of 1.2 billion people and a GDP of close to $2 trillion, faces a worsening security situation that poses a threat to the continent's economic and political outlook. Against the backdrop of these challenges, African governments believe the continent is disadvantaged by the current setup for global security and have called for a reform of the United Nations Security Council permanent members to a more representative global council that works for the interests of the whole world, including Africa. News Central's Omolola Oladi tells us more. Africa is a huge continent with a lot going on at any point in time. The past year has not been different. There has been good news and more than a fair share of bad news. While several countries have been able to maintain stability by holding elections in 2022 and 2023, others face challenges that threatened to derail those efforts. In Cameroon, the crisis emanating from Boko Haram splinter groups and displaced persons fleeing neighboring countries has only gotten worse in the country's northwest and southwest regions. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Inos attacks continue against civilians and government troops, while bilateral relations between Kinshasa and its neighbors, Rwanda in particular, continue to deteriorate. Sudan is facing its own crisis. The capital city, Khartoum, and surrounding areas are experiencing extensive violence due to the conflict between the forces loyal to the generals of the helm of affairs in the country. The ongoing crisis has left the country with over 4 million internally displaced persons, causing a humanitarian crisis. In light of recent events regarding security issues across Africa, African governments believe countering terrorism is imperative for peace in order to maintain the integrity of national security while keeping the population safe in the process. To stress on the fact that the shared nature of threats emanating from terrorist and extremist groups in West Africa, in light of the happenings in the world at the moment, demands the enhanced collaboration of all security actors within the region and of the Security Council. I call on the Council to be preemptive rather than reactive in helping to address the underlying causes of instability on the continent and in the Sahel, and thereby help meet the aspirations of our youthful populations who can help our continent to become great and strong. While international bodies are making effort to help curb the security challenges in Africa, by leading counter-terrorism exercises in West Africa. Security experts fear that the situation may get worse since thousands of French troops were forced out of Mali and Burkina Faso. They urge coastal countries to pull effort to contain the Islamist insurgency in the Sahel, which has been spreading for over a decade. It really comes to uh, synchronizing or bringing everybody together to help solve that collective problem uh, going, going forward. It's, it's teaching uh, countries in the regions that they can reach across the borders and, and talk to their, their next door neighbors and help solve the common problem together. Although security experts believe counterterrorism is a major solution to the myriads of security challenges facing the continent, Kenya's president, William Ruto, believes it goes beyond that. He has questioned Africa's representation on the UN Security Council. He says Africa should have a minimum of two permanent seats of the United Nations Security Council to help its cause in the fight against terrorism. It is therefore time to reform the UN Security Council and change it from an exclusive club of five permanent members to a more representative global council that works for the interests of the whole world. We have said Africa must have, at the minimum, two permanent seats at the Security Council. Unable to stem the increasing rate of high-intensity conflict and conflict-related debt in Africa, the continent's leaders have extended the deadline for peace by another decade, shifting the goalpost toward silencing the guns to 2030. However, 
Many believe meeting this new deadline may remain a mirage unless the region vigorously adopts a continental approach to security promotion that strengthens ownership of both national security and the development agenda for lasting peace and prosperity. Omolola Ololade reporting for New Central.